Earlier this week, we checked out the Kindle Oasis 2, the 2017 models, internet browsing capabilities, experimental browsers, beta features. I mean, these things have been here for four, five, six, seven, eight, even nine uh, generations of devices, and it's still in the testing phase, it seems. So we're going to look at the Kobo Aura 1's internet browsing capabilities, completely uncut, unedited, look at how easy this thing is to navigate so we're just gonna go goody reader and then click enter then we're gonna go to our website we haven't had anything loaded up we're just gonna do a little bit of speed tests so to speak so uh, we're on a regular Wi-Fi connection right here and you will notice that when you're outside of an application like the store the browser that doesn't need Wi-Fi they actually turn this off as to conserve battery so you should note that so everything's pretty good it's pretty smooth you'll see for a second when you scroll it 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 dots the image you'll see right there it kind of dilutes the image to allow you to scroll better this is usually referred to as some sort of A2 mode. Um, everyone kind of has their own proprietary name for it. So you'll see that it flashes a lot, it has to render a lot, but it's it's not it's not all that bad. I mean, it's a very large screen e-reader, so this thing is bound to display really anything you want, anything south of, you know, playing videos on YouTube, I wouldn't really recommend that. But you see, once it loads, it does an okay job. What you want to do is try some pinch and zooms. So you'll see, kind of even did that before I decided to pinch and zoom. I don't think I accidentally touched anything. Oh, I opened the image, that's why. So I guess it opened an image, all right. <laughs> Let's do some pinch and zooms here. So there we go. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely a little sloppy. There we go. Wow, yeah, it took a really long time to register what I wanted to do there. And even then, it doesn't seem to really be cooperating. So um, a lot of the things that are on this screen at once, you have banners, you have text images. You see it's still kind of continuously flashing. And still, there we go. So finally registered my pinch and zoom. There doesn't seem to be any slider bar, uh, mini map or anything, but the slider bar down here is registering how much you have zoomed. You can use this as well instead of pinching and zooming. Once it fully renders there, you can drop that, and what it does is it, it zooms accordingly, so you can use that. This is a refresh button. Of course, you have a back button. So this is what you're basically to expect with the reading experience. If you try to long press on something, you see there is no functionality for that. We're just going to go to one more website. This will be Wikipedia, which is a less image heavy website. So you'll see how, uh, how that does. So it whips right over there. There's no real, no real delays or anything like that. I'll type Kobo. So navigation wise, rendering wise, I mean, everything just jumps really, really, really quick. It's it's fantastic in that regard. Now, when it comes to pinching and zooming and stuff like that, uh, that's where you really get into trouble, especially if there's images around, because it just simply can't seem to keep up with what you're doing. You'll see that it's very laggy, very choppy. So um, overall, if you had to do, if you had to use this for um, internet browsing capabilities, it can do it. However, we wouldn't recommend obviously buying this for the sole purpose of that, as it is not the greatest. But I guess that's why it's in, it's in beta feature for the past X amount of generations. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you need anything else, any other requests for goodyreader.com. This is Peter.